Good morning, guys. This is my workout outfit for today. Just decided to go with something simple. I like these leggings because they suck everything in. I will put the link for them in the description box along with this, this sports bra. Booty's getting higher. Today is a core and chest day. So first things first, I'm going to warm up on the treadmill. I just finished doing weights on the gym floor, but I don't shoot too much footage on the gym floor because I'm just not used to it. But if you guys want to see me doing more of the heavy weights with dumbbells and barbells and all that, comment below and I'll start doing it. I just have to get used to shooting footage in the gym. Sometimes I forget to. Um, but I made it into the aerobics room and I'm finishing off my workout after hitting weights with upper body. My arms were already sore so I couldn't do push-ups without using my knees to assist. And when I do push-ups, I do a variation of putting my arms and hands underneath my shoulders to doing wide arms. Right here, I'm doing wide arms. And I just go till burnout. Like, I just go till it just hurts and I can't go anymore. I don't count too much. As you can see my face, I'm like, oh, that hurt. I used to be able to do 25 push-ups without my knees. But I'm building my strength back up. I kind of fell off for a while because my hormones were out of balance. And that's something that people don't talk about a lot. I've noticed in the fitness industry is the key in how much hormones play when it comes to your energy. Like your hormones are pretty much the key to everything. If your hormones are out of balance, it puts everything out of balance. And uh, so now here I am doing core. My daughter roasted me and told me I have a kangaroo pouch. So yeah, as you can see it real clear here on this video, I am determined though to trim this belly fat off and get my core back strong. So as you can see, I'm not perfect these pants and depending on which angle I'm taking my pictures and videos makes it look like I'm much slimmer than I am but here you guys see what's really going on sometimes I do this on the floor out on the gym like sitting on those big tires that they have in the grass area or the green area or whatever you want to call it and that way your foot has um, it just makes it more gives you more leverage to go up and down but because I was doing push-ups which already forces you to use so much of your core I went ahead and just did this here in the aerobics room on a flat floor so um, I was already pretty tired and tapped out um, so I what I normally do is I rest for 10 to 15 seconds before I move on to the next exercise but I wanted you guys to see what I look like now because, you know, so many times when we watch these fitness vlogs, we see fitness influencers with these perfect bodies, which I'm not knocking them at all. They look amazing. Um, but it is nice to go on the journey with someone on the way. So you can see that I'm not perfect either. And I have my work cut out for me too to get to where I want to be but this right here oh these right here are a killer so yeah I just keep going till I can't go anymore and then try to catch my breath I'll wait and then as soon as I don't feel the pain anymore then I keep going when I first started doing these I could only do like five or six. Now I'm able to at least get to 10 to 15, sometimes on a good day, 
if I feel really rested, I can get up to 20 to 25 at a time. But it takes time. I remember when I first started back working out consistently, I, I was so weak. And it took me, you know, a couple months to build back up to be even able to do a push-up without using my knees. And I remember when new members would join and they would see me doing push-ups without using my knees, they were envious. And I just thought to myself, I told them, I'm like, listen, I didn't start off like this. Like, it takes time to build up. You just have to put in the work and eventually over time you will notice the progress. This is also why I like to video some of my workouts so I can look back and see how far I've come. Because it's motivating, it's inspiring when you can see where you started and how far you've come along. But, yeah, you guys, don't give me a hard time in the comments. This is my first workout vlog, and I'll start doing more if you want to keep up with my fitness journey. I just wanted to put something different on my channel other than just unboxings and reviews, which I love doing those, but I also want you guys to get a variety of content so you can see what my life is like. I'm also going to start showing more of just like my daily life weekly life um, if you have any other suggestions on what type of content you'd like to see from me comment below and let me know yeah I like this right here bringing your knees into your elbows this works your core and it's also attacking the obliques and then when I'm tired, I try to hold it at the end for as long as I can. I used to be able to plank for one to three minutes, but you know, fitness is not a continual going up. There's gonna be times you're gonna fall off the wagon, especially once you have kids and you have a family or you're in a relationship or you're just busy with work. Like we're not robots, we're humans. And sometimes your fitness journey can go in zigzags. So be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up if you're not reaching your goals as fast as you'd like to. Like, just have fun with it. I notice when I have fun with my workouts and don't take it so serious, um, the more I enjoy it. So I'm going to do some stretching here. But I forgot to flip my camera just for this shot right here. So I usually start off doing this stretch first. And then I turn my neck back and forth. If you have neck issues and you can't really turn your neck that good, just turn as much as you can a little bit. A little bit of motion back and forth is better than none at all. And then over time, if you just keep doing a little bit at a time, you'll notice that your neck stretches will get better and you'll be able to do, um, you'll be able to turn your neck more, but you have to do it. Like the saying goes, motion is lotion. <laughs> that sounds like it could be something sexual, but you know what I mean. Like just sitting and being stagnant is the worst thing you can do. It's really important to stretch, even if you if you're not as flexible as me. Like I, I haven't always been as flexible as I am now. I'm actually more flexible now than I was in my twenties. And that's because back in 2010 when I lived in Atlanta, I took a pole dancing class. And part of the school that I was, or the classes where I was taking the pole dancing classes, they had um, a stretching class. And you literally stretch for an entire hour. So I would pay a little extra and go once a week to take the stretching classes. And one hour a week and, you know, doing the stretches and then also um, doing it daily. 
maybe not for an hour every day, but 10, 15, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, however long you can do it, over time you'll become more flexible. Like now I can actually do the splits and that took time. Like I couldn't do the splits. It probably took me like six months of consistent stretching and taking that class. See, look, I'm sucking my stomach in. See what happens when I suck it in versus not? Did you guys see that? And then, plus I'm probably also bloated. Like, I think genetics plays a part too. Because I remember my mom, may she rest in peace. She was, you know, she dealt with a lot of bloating. And it also has to do, like, with your diet, of course. But I love this stretch right here. This one's one of my favorites. Like, if you do this, you know, like, you have to do several different stretches to finally be able to get to the point where you can do the splits. And on a good day, I will do 30 minutes to 45 minutes of stretching, and I'll hold each stretch for 30 seconds to a minute and while I'm stretching I will <clears throat> even if it's just a little millimeter or centimeter at a time I will try to push the stretch out further and yeah over time you'll become more flexible now I'm definitely not here to train anybody doing fitness this is more just showing you guys what I do in the gym I am not a trainer I'm not here to tell you you know you should be doing this or that um, I just wanted you guys really to see like what I do in the gym like I said to diversify my channel and Show you what it's really like to be Vu's views. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to when I can shoot more footage in the actual, on the gym floor. Oh, and this stretch right here, when I first did it, I couldn't even bend as low as I can now. Now I can practically, my I can almost get my stomach to touch the floor. I love this stretch here too, because this is stretching your hamstrings, your sides, obliques. It really opens up the hips and your back area. Like this stretch right here feels so good. This felt amazing, especially after doing shoulders and chest. Again, more neck stretches. I focus a lot on doing neck stretches and hamstrings because that's where your muscles are the tightest. So I'll do neck rolls. Again, if I know people that have neck pain and it's really hard for them to do this. So again, just a little bit, even if you can only do like one millimeter, just, you know, do it back and forth a couple, like I'm sitting here as I'm doing this voiceover and I'm telling you guys as I'm doing this I'm with my neck. I'm like going back and forth right now. <laughs> Tricep stretch. Yeah, that feels amazing too. Because you know, when you're doing shoulders and chest, you're automatically working your triceps. Just getting these last final stretches in. Yep, doing more hamstring, lower back stretching there. It's opening up my hips. Uh, you see how low I can go? Like I used to not be able to go this low. Now I can like kiss my knees. But it took time. I know people think, they're like, why don't you get a mat? And I should bring my mat in the gym. 
but I'm just too lazy to carry it in, to be honest with you. And I don't like using the mats that are in the gym because they're disgusting and people are probably like, well, you're laying on the floor, isn't that disgusting? And I'm like, if I had to choose between a hardwood floor that has dust on it versus a mat that people have used over and over and over and sweated all over and probably never gets cleaned, um, I'll take the floor. You know, like you gotta pick your poison. And I've gotten used to stretching on the floor. Like at first, sometimes it would hurt, um, like especially if I'm on my knees, but I've gotten so used to stretching on the floor now that I can do it without a mat and it doesn't hurt, but it, it takes a little bit of time. You gotta do it a couple times for your body to get used to it. This feels really good too. I love this stretch right here. This gets your glutes, your hamstrings really deep. And then I, I have to do this because this really opens up the inner thigh. You guys see how many different stretches I do? And again, stretching is so good for you and it will make your workouts more effective when you become more flexible because when you're stretching, you're sending oxygen and blood to those muscles, opening them up. I don't just stretch after the workout, I stretch after my warm up, during the workout, and after. So I do it before, during, and after. Always doing deep breathing in and out. Oh, this is the stretch that I was telling you guys about where most people would be like, doesn't that hurt your knees? Don't you need a mat? Well, it did at first, but I just kept doing it even though it was hurting because I, that's how much I do not want to use the mats at the gym. <laughs> I probably should just bring in a bigger towel and go ahead and use the mats but I'm actually glad that I did it this way because it made my knees stronger so now I can stretch on a hard floor and it doesn't bother me at all where you know at one time I needed a mat because it would hurt my knees too bad but um, because I didn't even know that it would happen this way but because of my defiance of wanting to use those nasty gym mats um, my knees actually got used to it over time <laughs> You guys hear my daughter laughing in the background? She's so funny. She's sitting over here next to me while I'm doing this voiceover. Oh, the lights went out. <laughs> you know, something else I want to say is it's, you know, it was much easier to. I'm going to go turn the lights on. It was much easier to get fit and trim when I was in my 20s and 30s. But after having a child and just as, you know, getting older, it, um, your metabolism definitely slows down. And that's when the real work begins. Like, I didn't realize how much I took my metabolism for granted when I was in my 20s and 30s. But I am not going to let that stop me because I am determined and I have the mindset of a shark. So I'm not going to let hormonal changes, environmental changes, I'm not going to let anything stop me. I mean, there were times where I didn't work out at all for months, but maybe going for walks and stuff, but because I just didn't have the energy, you know, being a single mom and then I go to demanding jobs, you know, I have a background in property management and um, 
I would go to these demanding jobs and then come home and have to take care of my daughter. I had no energy to go to the gym. But now that she's gotten older and she's more independent, um, now she's in school. Because for those of you who have not followed my journey, she was um, homeschooled for many years. Other than when I was working in corporate America, she would go to daycare and preschool. But once I left corporate America, she was um, homeschooled. So it would, just took a lot out of me being a single mom and not having any help. But I wouldn't trade it in because I got that time in with her, which was what was important to me. But now she has decided she wants to go to school, so that's freed up my time to where I can now go to the gym and I'm getting back in shape and I'm excited because I have more energy now. So I wanted to start shooting some fitness like vlogs this for you guys. This really opens up your hips. Like you don't sit Indian style completely. You put like one leg in front of the other. So they're both on the floor. And then bend down as low as you can. That stretches your lower back and it opens up your hips if you turn to the side just a bit. More neck rolls. Stretching my forearms. Those have been really sore. Stretching my thumbs, my hands sometimes because especially when you hold your cell phone all the time. Like I know I've heard of people getting like carpal tunnel and all kinds of stuff, so it's important to you know, move your hands around and get and blood flowing in there too. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out with me while I worked out. Tell me, do you want more of these kinds of videos? Because um, I'll be happy to make them if you want to see more of a day in the life of Vu's views. Just let me know, comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell icon. I appreciate you guys supporting me and taking time to watch. I'm sorry, I'm chewing gum while talking. That's so rude. <laughs> I have better manners than that.